This video will define genre, explain how genre relates to rhetorical situations, discourse communities, and technology, and argue that knowing about genre will help you as a writer. Anise Bawarshi and Mary Jo Rice define genre as a classificatory tool, a way of sorting and organizing kinds of texts but also forms that conceptually frame and mediate how we understand and typically act within various situations. Types of communication include email, Facebook posts, and the traditional research essay. Genres are made up of modes of communication or the form that the communication takes and conventions or qualities which the audience comes to expect because of their past experiences with a genre. Because of the genre, audiences might come to expect certain qualities in a text related to its style, form, length, organization, design, medium, or the technologies used to create or deliver it. If I were to tell you I'd created a meme, then show you this, you might be confused. As an audience familiar with the meme genre, you've come to expect certain conventions. While as a writer, I want to be sure to include unique features that help my text stand out, I also want the audience to see the conventions that identify the type of text. But new genres don't just come out of nowhere. Rather, we choose genres to fit rhetorical situations, or the exigence, audience, and purpose that we are writing for, and the constraints which we must overcome. Lloyd Bitzer uses the example of the presidential inaugural address, a very specific rhetorical situation. A new president, he argues, might think back to what previous presidents said in their addresses, considering those as guiding points for this rhetorical situation. Bitzer writes, from day to day, year to year, comparable situations occur prompting comparable responses and a special vocabulary, grammar, and style are established, what we might call conventions. The tradition itself tends to function as a constraint upon any new response in the form. And we don't want to see these conventions as rules which we must follow, but as flexible expectations our audience may hold, expectations which are given to change over time. As stated earlier, genres develop in response to audiences, and so they will vary in their style and design when seeking to engage different audiences. After all, a presentation I were to give to science majors would look very different than a presentation I would present to business majors or English majors. And that's because across those three communities, a presentation would include different jargon or language. It would have different goals or priorities and reflect different value systems because each discourse community has a different expectation for communication. Technologies too can impact the development of genres. As new technologies are created, new spaces for communication open up. And as we respond to those spaces, new patterns or genres are born. Consider the cell phone and the development of the text message or the internet and Facebook. Technology can also impact those flexible conventions. As technologies evolve and change, language changes, design changes, media changes, and new genres come to impact existing genres. Let's take the website, for example. In its earliest development, the design of the website replicated the word processor. But as technology changed and new designs became possible, the conventions for that genre flexed, and thus, as an audience, we have different expectations for how a website might be designed today. How does genre help you as a writer? First, I hope it helps you realize not all writing is the same. As you come to work in new genres, you'll need to require new strategies. And because genre evolves in response to audience and purpose, audience and purpose must always be at the heart of our writing. And so when you're asked to take up a new genre, begin by looking at examples. Then consider the conventions at work as well as your audience and rhetorical situation. Finally, tailor your writing style, design, and organization to the genre you're working in.